What's going on guys? Today we're going to be showing you how to install these Evo inner fenders. So I hope you like this video. Before I proceed with the installation, I want to show you a before and after so you can see how ugly your Jeep looks without any inner fenders. And I highly recommend Evo manufacturing inner fenders because they look really nice. And by the way, they have the right inner fender for your setup. Let me show you. For example, if you have the regular suspension, and I'm talking about springs and shocks, you can use the EVO 1197. If you have the EVO bolt-on coilover suspension, you can use the EVO 1198. And if you have the same setup I have, you can use the EVO 1199. And now let's jump to the installation. The first step you need to do is to remove your inner fenders. In this case, I had the DVA inner fenders, but they are not the right one for my for my setup, which is the EVO double throw down coilover system. And the right one will be the EVO 1199. So we're going to be removing um, my inner fenders and install the right ones. This is how they look when you take them out of the box and you will need to attach the little grills to the actual inner fenders. You can do this with the provided screws. It should only take you like 5 minutes because it's really simple. And this is how it looks after the installation is done. Now let's do the other side, but the process will be the same.
and now the installation is complete. If this video helped you in any way, all I ask from you guys is that you hit that like button. That's all we have for today guys, as always, see you in the next one.